What's up guys, we have Jay here. He actually just got first place here at our locals here at Game Breakers Locals in Lexington, Ohio. Uh, we just wanted to do a quick deck profile. He was actually playing Infernoble Knight. So let's go ahead and get into the deck. So this deck is actually uh, a lot like Pax. I think I took his and I changed only a few cards in it to make it more my play style. But essentially it's three connector and one dolphin. If you open connector, it's an automatic full combo. Like it is honestly start to finish. As long as you don't get interrupted, you're good to go. Uh, extenders are Fire Flint Ladies, Super Quantum. If you draw these two cards, it's just as good as having the connector. You just kind of win from there. Crusadia, uh, Crusadia, Boria, Despot, Coltwing. These get you from point A to B, like without these two cards, effectively the entire deck just kind of falls apart. You can still keep playing if this is in your hand and this, but this makes your life a nightmare. For the Infernobles, it's three Oliver, three Renaud, one Orgier. The honorary Noble Knight is Gearfried. Two Ash, and then the Gamma packages are only hand traps. I sided these out almost every game for a better hand trap in the mirror in the matches. Yeah. Um, realistically, it was two of these came out, one equipment and uh, one other card that was just bad in the most matches. I was playing three Heritage, three Durandal, and then. I played one Metal Silver Armor. This game won, or this card won me multiple games tonight because if you get this and Oliver onto a Charles, they can't target anything on the field because this says they can only target Charles, and then Charles says they can only target Oliver. Oh. And then, or Oliver says they can only can't target Charles. Between those and Orgier, Orgier says that he can't be destroyed. So the only way they can get rid of it is to tribute it out with a Kaiju or to bounce it if they oh, have an shoot. untargeted bounce. Yeah, that's pretty broke. And then the rest of the equips is one Living Fossil, one Phoenix Blade, and one DDR. One Rota because it's a warrior deck. One e Tully. this comes in super clutch. If you activate Dolphin and Chain Emergency Tully, you can bring in your own Gamma to get a Gamma out of their hand or get a Nibiru out of their hand. Huh. And then one Monster Reborn wrap, wraps up the main board uh, at 40. Okay. And then for the extra is two Isolde, one of the Mecha Phantom Beasts, one Halka Fibrax. I never made this card today. I it doesn't come up that often, but realistically, if they stop this effect, you can use your extenders go into go into this, so you can still make it in your Mecha Phantom Beast. Right. Uh, one access code because it's pretty much an auto win if you DDR back your Mecha Phantom Beast link. Right. You just play one more card and you automatically get a 53k meter. One Balmung, Harold, Ronald, Shooting Riser, which is really important to the combo. Borload Savage Dragon, Cloud Castle, uh, and Charles wraps up the Synchros. This is an amazing card. Realistically, it's a pop and it sets up its own uh, in invulnerability by bringing out the Metal Silver if you leave it in there. If you put it into the grave. One VFD and one Trish because it's the only way to make it into VFD. Right. The sideboard was pretty tailored to us. But it was two draw and lock, two Lancia, two Gaiju to out the bird up matchup, three Twin Twister, three Dark Ruler no more, and then wrapped it up with three evenly matched. Nice. Is there anything of a change in the deck? I'd probably take out the blockade, honestly. Okay. Uh, it really doesn't come up that often, and when it does, you just okay. would rather make other plays to make it further than put a blockade on the board. I got you. Well, hey, man, I definitely appreciate the deck profile, man. 
We'll definitely be seeing you next week. Yeah, have a good one. Hey, you too, man.